Yo, what's good? It's main boxing biker. About to go grab me some Mexican food. While I'm talking about some Mexican boxing. <laughs> Hopefully there's no clean clean in my food, but then again I'm not a performing athlete, so if there's some clean clean in my food, I'll just go work out after, you know? You dig. Uh bike, not really scooter. Yeah, there might be some clean clean in my food, so if I start acting crazy erratic and all that on my way back, it's my light. Start acting crazy erratic on my way back, then y'all know what's up. Yeah, y'all gonna know what's up. But, uh, follow the GPS, I don't know where I'm going. Ooh, that's a nice little turn right there. You know what? Let me see. I'll do it on the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We about to talk about some bo uh, boxing, Mexican boxing, as I will pick up some on-the-go Mexican food. Uh, Oscar Valdez, man, pop dirty. The man pop dirty for PDs. I mean, this is what three down in in a uh, Eddie Ranoso's camp. Eddie Ranoso, third down. Hey, they might be trying to tell us something, you know. Maybe Mauricio Suleiman might, might have to, you know, add something else to that band list. Because it seems like uh, more and more Mexicans are popping dirty. So, look like Suleiman's going to have to add a couple more band items to the list. Oh, you got a nice little bike over there, bike. But, because uh, this man popped dirty, man. And it seems like an ongoing thing when it comes to the Canelo camp. So, I don't know what's going on in that camp. But they might need to do an intervention where they just clean the whole camp out and start over, man. Something's something's a little fishy over there, man. Oscar Valdez just knocked out, uh, what's the boy name? He, he pulling a blank. Come on, bro. I'm trying to turn. Is this nigga, bro, go. The freak. See, I'm trying to get into the lane. You're sitting there jerking off. God damn, what is that? On the and now he getting mad because somebody got him up. Yo, I can never make a video and beat. Ooh, look at his car. Okay, I like that. Nice, nice, nice. Let me give y'all a front view of that joint. So y'all can see what it looks like. Yeah, zombie way. You see that? <laughs> it's a zombie way. But uh, what the hell is he looking at? Look at Feinsberg behind me. Look at him. Y'all can see him from the mirror? He's mad. He's big mad with his little shades on. He's big mad. Don't be looking back there. Don't be looking back at other cars. Look back at my car. Get out of here, cornball. It's a goddamn, what is that? A, we got a Ford Escape. Some some BS. Anyways, yeah. Oh, that Jeep is that Jeep is fire, man. But yeah, man. So, Oscar Valdez just uh, came off of a knockout win. And, you know. And he got the belt. Let's see if he gets stripped. He rightfully so. He should be stripped. Everybody else gets stripped when they pop dirty for, you know, pop, for the pets and whatever. Some get stripped, some drop belts. So, maybe he needs to be stripped ASAP. In fact, what pissed me off is that they still allow this man to fight. So, just so y'all know, homeboy is fighting. First, they said they ate. Damn, where the hell is this? Oh, actually, I have to see where it's at. Yeah, first they said, I'm going to a Mexican restaurant called El Sol. It's in downtown Harrisburg in Pennsylvania, aka Pistolvania. Yeah, I'm about to go there and grab some takeout. But uh, yeah, the problem, the problem is that, uh, the problem is that homeboy was able to test positive and they said, well, the fight is, you know, is in the the fight might be postponed the fight might be you know the fights in jeopardy or whatever because homeboy tested because oscar valdez tested positive is a is a sample tested positive so the fight is in jeopardy then they said they're waiting to see the b the b sample b sample came back burning <laughs> hot b sample came back hella hot oh let me see if i can sneak into a spot right here and illegally park and sneak and grab some food, order my food and come back out. Damn. Let's see. Uh, 
back up a little bit more. Let me see. Now nah, let me move forward. Yeah, but uh, B sample came back and B sample is pissing hot. He's dirty. B sample hella dirty. So now, with that being said, what happens now in this case? Instead of them, you know, at this point, if the fight was in jeopardy because the A sample was dirty, what do you think is going to happen when the B sample come back dirty? What do you think is going to happen now? I want y'all to take a guess. What do y'all think is going to happen when the B sample come back dirty? Huh? What do y'all think? Well, Y'all don't got to think. I'm going to tell y'all what happened. Some Pacheco, some bullshit company, some bullshit uh, sanctioned bodies in Arizona decided that, hey, we're going to still give him the fight. So he's still able to fight. He's still able to make money. So what's the purpose of waiting for the B sample? At this point, I'm looking at it like y'all kind of played us because y'all had us thinking like the B sample matter. Obviously, the B sample didn't matter. Positive or not, homeboy still fighting. So that's the double standards in boxing that we seems to be dealing with right now. You know? Errol Spence commented, uh, Errol Spence commented if that was me. Only if that was me. I wonder what would have happened. I, we already know what would have happened if it was Errol. We already know the type of smoke he would have got. So, at that point, you know, it's pretty much without being, it's like a silent code where we understand, you know. Suleiman and his boys is telling us everything they need to tell us without actually having to physically, without actually having to verbally say it. You got to learn how to read, uh, <laughs> silent languages or how to read between the line a one a wise man hear one word but understands many words out of that one word and Suleiman is pretty much telling us exactly what we what we're assuming you know Suleiman is telling us what we need to know that he pretty much called the shots he's gonna do as he pleases and he's gonna do favors for whoever the freak he want to do favors for and you can't do nothing about it I can't do nothing about it because he run the whole show he run everything. This is, you know, he make the final say. So, y'all either gonna, you know, if you want fairness in the sport, you're gonna have to boss up and we all gonna have to do what we gotta do and aka boycott the fight. If we boycott this fight, I think it'll make a big difference for the next fight. See, numbers is what's gonna matter. And if everyone can remain disciplined and fight together for the one for the one positive fight, it can work out where we can actually get it the way we want it to be. But if everybody stand alone and everybody, some people watch it, some people don't, we're never gonna get what we want. So we gotta do what we gotta do. And right now it's in our hand. You know? Facts. What's she smiling at? <laughs> she probably heard me. Okay, crazy. But she got slippers on. Nah, can't do the dirty slip, them the little dirty slippers. Nah. Even if I was a single dude out here interested trying to holler and all that. Nah. The back of your heel gonna look mad crazy when you get there to the crib and take them slippers off. Nah. Anyways, main boxing biker. I'ma hit back with another video. Peace.